what did you think? Well, we just saw, you know, the heart of New York, and we just saw, you know, just like the, the family, you know, that, uh, I, I don't know, I was talking to Travis, it's like, you can't decide between that group of lovely no. people. Yeah. All of those people are um, right, I'm getting beautiful. And we love you, Katie! Love you. Thank you. Well, both you fellas, you, you work so closely with Michael Jackson, and, you know, it may be hard to sit through your memory and find your, your best memory of Michael or an experience that you had with him, but if you can, can you share that with us? He said, don't ever cheat the fans. <laughs> he said, you can't start one song if you're not going to finish it. <laughs> They're going to want the whole thing. Oh, yeah. He's not right. Them. It will upset them. <laughs> He always kept you in his heart. Oh, every his conversation, song. every he did not have a favorite song. No, he neither do we. He said they're like his children. You cannot That's what I say. Oh. Yeah. There were so many, so many. But it always started with the fans are going home. Always, always. That's right. Always. You know, I would just say that that you know, um, considering what's happened to all of us and and what we. You know, lost in the physical Michael on this planet, which impacts the whole planet. But the one thing that Michael was never, as long as I've known him, was a man that was looking for vindication, ever, in ever. And 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 I, I have to say that uh, there was a time in his dressing room when we were talking, and it was about I don't know four and a half, five weeks into rehearsal. And I said, Michael, I just cannot wait for the curtain to open up in London. I cannot wait. I said, you are going to get your due. That crown is going to be shining. And, and, and I said, and, and I can't wait for that vindication. And he laughed. And he looked at me and he said, you're so silly. <laughs> Michael didn't get up in the morning. Uh, thinking about being vindicated. Michael got up in the morning thinking about you, thinking about love, thinking about the planet, thinking about healing the world, thinking about all the right things. Now, I hear you recently went to the Philippines. Yeah. Tell us about that experience. Yeah, that video was what, awesome. What did you go to the Philippines for? Well, first of all, we um, were just blessed enough to be able to travel to Cebu. Um, uh, Sony arranged it. Um, during the rehearsals for This Is It, one of Michael's fans sent a link um, to the inmates during Thriller. So we would watch it, we would watch it often, and he got such a kick out of it. He loved it, he ran around the room, he wanted to see, he loved the little old Ray person who was, you know, he loved it, he just loved it. He watched it all the time, he loved it. So when we were thinking of ideas of how to sort of get out there and be with his fans and, you know, comfort them and do what we can to, you know, just continue this legacy. I just said, you know, Stacy, Grease Spot, and Sony, I said, you know what, it'd be so cool if we went to that prison. And she said, hmm, you know, she thinks about it because she processes. And then a few weeks later, she came back and she said, we're going to go to the Philippines. And so we got there and, of course, we're thinking, oh, we're just going to see these guys from the Philippines. So we get there. Were you scared? Uh, no, not at all. <laughs> not at all. Not you know, they say prison, no, 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 not at all. Um, we had the whole thing. It was very safe. And, uh, you know, we just thought there was 1,500 guys who were going to be thrilled. So we get there and they had this immense repertoire. They had 30 songs, half of them were Michael Jackson songs. Wow. wow. So the warden, uh, Warden Byron, who's a huge Michael Jackson fan, um, got the idea for a rehabilitation center because he saw Shawshank Redemption. Great movie. And they Good, were great about movie. The rumble, and there was a, an Italian aria, and uh, the same thing was happening in his prison. So he whipped out his USB, started playing some music, and, and it was Michael Jackson, calmed him down, and they started to sort of laugh and dance, and then he knew he was onto something. And so for about three years, we found out the day we got there, for about three years, this has been a rehabilitation program. Mm. And so the moment we walked in, they did this sort of welcome to us, and it was just like 10 minutes of Michael stuff. They had a, they had a tribute on the internet two days after he passed. Like, they are so serious, these guys, and 70% of them, we were told, were um, high risk. Um, some of them have to be segregated and kept from the population because they're so dangerous. Oh um, we didn't know any of this. We just sort of went in and we were like people, you know, Michael fans, and it felt like a dance convention. And we were able to, you know, put together a piece in two days and we, we talk and drill and they don't care about us. And it was our hope to, you know, bring Michael's ideas to life. And in, in, in that respect, 
Um, the original uh, They Don't Care About a short film was in Brazil, in a prison. Um, and then when we're looking at it, we're like, wow, that's the movie. We're doing the movie. And um, so it, it was just so overwhelming and, and, and so cathartic. And he was there. It stormed the entire time. The two days we shot, it was bright and sunny. It happened to also be Martin Luther King's birthday. Mm. All those wonderful things just fell into place. We just were crying the whole time, but it was such a blessing. Rob's told yeah. how to get, how to find it. Oh, YouTube. You just you <laughs> type in, you type in, this is it, prisoners. No. <laughs> You want to really know? You type in Travis Payne Prisoners. <laughs> we know where it is. I'm sure you do. He's worth following. He is a good man to follow. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Well, I'm going to ask all, you, all of you uh, fellas, including uh, Michael, how involved in the creative process of his concerts, of the movies, of all of his projects, was he? I mean, obviously, you're the best at what you do, and he recognizes that, and so some people may be comfortable just to sit back and say, just do what I pay you for, just do what you do. But how involved was Michael in the creative process? I think you can see it when you watch the movie. He wanted to know every detail of every single thing, from every crystal and every costume to every uh, piece of uh, stage and machinery that we use. The elevators, the the pyro, the explosions, it's all in the movie. You can see that. He wanted to know everything. It's in, it, in the new 90 minutes, too. It even goes into it deeper, oh yeah, even yeah. deeper. Yeah. Yeah. And he was the, the best boss I ever had, because the only question he ever had was, is it the biggest one that was ever made? <laughs> is it the best one that was ever made? Has no one else in the world ever done it before? And he, and he made us promise. Promise it's the biggest one? <laughs> Or you were in trouble. Right. Don't let me see somebody with this screen. <laughs> Now, you know, in making the movie, of course, you know, they, they were working, you guys were working on the concert, you're working with it over lunch, and unfortunately, you know, we experienced Michael's past, and everyone was grieving about it, but the positive aspect out of all of it, people got to see Michael again in his glory. And so making the movie, putting it together, what, what did you guys want to make sure you captured and leave all of his fans with? Well, just the, the reasons that Michael wanted to go out and do this at this time of his life. Was this really going to be his last concert? Well, it, uh, it, not these 50. He wanted to do the world. Okay. And he wanted to come back into the United States. Oh. Yeah, I know. And um, what the, the, the plan that we discussed and that was exciting to him was he wanted to do all the continents. And then he was going to give up live performance but getting seriously into filmmaking. And some of the goals that we had discussed, Michael and I were talking about doing a full length 3D feature of Thriller and also uh, the full blown out musical of. Um, Smooth criminal. So there were a lot of, you know, he wasn't retiring. You know, he wasn't retiring. But but our our goal truly was to bring Michael and the fans into the room with us every single day and just keep the focus that what we wanted to do immediately following Michael's passing. I, we received thousands and thousands and thousands of of you know emails asking us to please share with you what it was that Michael had planned for the shows. And so we felt that we wanted to one make sure that everybody understood why Michael wanted to do those shows and also what his dream for those shows were and that was all that we focused on you know in, in putting the film together well we're gonna wrap up here thank you so much for being here with a takeaway, something that, you know, they should always keep in the forefront of their mind when they think of Michael Jackson. What do you think it is? Oh, he's the truth. He's the truth. What you saw is what you got. What you saw is what you got. That's he right. was always that way, 24-7. He, he tell you what he thought. He was so loving and wonderful. He, he loved to joust creatively. He was not a pushover. He was not, he, you know, he was very fearless. You know, he, he loved surrounding himself with people who were not yes men, who would challenge his ideas. And if you can't do it with love, take it out of the room. Yep. yep. And he always, always wanted to keep his show PG-12. He wouldn't even go PG-13. He wanted his show to be PG-12. He said, no, that's not the right imagery for the kids. And it was always that. Always that. You guys want to say something? Please. Oh, Ruska, Ruska, stop this. Come here. Come here. <laughs> okay, love the jacket. First and foremost, love the jacket. Okay. Everything you saw Michael wear in the film, this is Michael's stylist, Ruska. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi.
much for this evening. You're wonderful, beautiful, and you're really fan of Michael Jackson. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we want to give all of these guys a round of applause. It's amazing that they're here. Yeah!